uh hi everyone uh welcome to uh lecture 3 so before starting this lecture uh i just want to uh explain uh something i missed in the last lecture uh so as i said in the last lecture uh when you send a packet from uh uh network 1 to network 2 a host uh in network 1 to a host uh in network 2 it takes three steps right so the first step uh, you send it to the network from network 1 to network 2 and the second step uh, you send it uh, to the host and the third step is uh, it's the application uh, you want to look for so this is step 1 step 2 step 3 so step 1 uh, and step 2 uh, it you uh, i told you right it you uh, cnn.com is converted by domain naming uh, system into a set of numbers called ip address so step 1 is taken care by using something called a uh, network id and step 2 is taken taken care by something called host id by using network 1 it goes from network 1 to network 2 and completes its step 1 and uh, by using host id it goes uh, to the particular host and completes its step 2 and by using the port number for that particular uh, application protocol it completes its step 3 so using the network id host id and the port number a packet travels uh, from a host in network 1 to network 2 uh, host in network 2 uh, to the particular port uh, using the application protocol uh, so this is the network id and host id and let's uh, talk about uh, the ip addressing and the binary system uh, so let's yeah start uh, let's start talking more on the binary and the ip addressing so you know that the binary system has 0 and 1 bits as 0 and 1 suppose uh, you have you have to take only one bit just one bit so how many numbers binary numbers you can form using just one bit uh, just one bit so you can have either 0 or 1 right suppose should take only two bits so it's either 0 0 or 0 1 or 1 0 or 1 1 so your 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 0 1 0 is 2 and 1 1 is 3 suppose uh a binary uh, number has 3 bits you should take only 3 bits so it's either 0 0 0 0 which is 1 or 0 0 1 which is uh, sorry 0 0 0 which is 0 1 0 1 0 0 which is 1 same way 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 Zero one one one. Yeah. So here you're taking just a one bit, so you're getting only either zero or one. Two bits zero 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 one one zero one one. Three bits it start with zero 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 all the way and it goes and it's uh one from zero 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 and uh, it stops at one one one. So here let's call this one number space. so the number space for 2 bits is this the number, number space for 3 bits is this one suppose uh so it this has 2 bits this has 3 bits 
so suppose uh, if you are selecting just uh, one bit in this two bit sequence just the one bit if I ask you to just select one bit uh, so how many uh, parts you can divide uh, this into suppose if I ask you to just select the one bit and and how many parts you can divide it into so so if uh, you, it's divide you can divide it into two parts so one bit it's either zero or one so you do you can divide you divide it into two parts so one bit it's either zero or one and you divide the number space into two parts suppose if i ask you to select two bits and divide the number space then it's it's you divide it into four parts either it's zero zero or zero one or one zero or one one so one bit you divide it into the number space into two parts so the first one bit is either zero or one in the same way here if i ask you to just select just one bit uh you divide the, the total number space into two parts so either it's zero or either it's zero or one suppose if i ask you to select two bits you divide it into four parts either it's zero zero or zero one or uh, one zero or one one so if it's a only one bit it's zero or one two parts if it's two bits then it's zero zero or zero one or one zero or one one you divide it into four parts if i ask you to select it in select three bits then it's eight parts zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one so if you are selecting uh one bit it's two parts if you are selecting two bits it's four parts if you are selecting three bits it's eight parts so suppose you ask if you have to select n bits then according to this the formula is two power n n parts so n bits makes two power n parts suppose uh you have uh let, so let's talk about the ip address here as i told you before the ip address is a set of numbers here the set it's either zero or one it's a set of uh either zero or one and suppose it has n bits n bits total name total and suppose if you want to divide it into uh let's take k bits here so and call it your network id i told you right the network id is used to go to the particular network from one network to the other network and let's call this host id which is used to go to the particular host suppose you have k first k bits as your network id in the n bit n bit ip address according to this formula according to what i told you before it can be divided into two power k parts so the n bit ip address is divided into two power k parts where first k bits is your network id and each of these two power k parts has each of these two power k parts has two power n divided by two power k hosts which is equal to two power n minus k hosts so to summarize if you have a, a n bit ip address and if your first k bits are your network id and the remaining n minus k is a host id you can divide the entire uh, space into two power k parts uh, as i explained before uh, how it's the formed uh, uh, and each uh, part has a uh, two power n minus k hosts i hope uh, this is clear uh, so let's talk more on the IP address. 
So as I told you before, uh, the IP address is a set uh, of uh, binary numbers and the total number of uh, IP, uh, the numbers, uh, the total number of uh, numbers in in IPv4 addressing is 32 bits. So it's a combination of zeros and ones of 32 bits. And previously uh, in 1970s and 1980s, they used a system called a uh, static number system, which we are not using right now. In the static number system, they used to have only eight bits as a network ID and remaining 32 minus 8 which is 24 bits as host ID. So using this uh, 8 bits as network ID and 24 uh, bits as a host ID uh, they so as explained before uh, they had two power uh, they had two power uh, eight networks, which is two fifty six networks, and each network had two power twenty four, which is equal to sixteen million hosts per network. So this was a uh, late nineteen seventies and eighties uh, when there are not many uh, computer networks. Uh, they used to have the static number system and uh, it it had uh, just a uh, 8 bits uh, network id and uh, 24 uh, bits of host id uh, your 8 bits of network id gives you only 256 networks and each uh, network is like 20, uh, 22 power 24 uh, which is 16 million hosts but uh, this is not uh, used right now because if like if you take only one city or one county it has more than 256 networks now so it's not scalable uh, so this system uh, we 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 are not using anymore uh, and we uh, we are using a something called classful uh, system so we came from static number system to classful number system let me explain you what's a classful uh, system now and how ip address are formed according to this cla classful number system so according to the classful number system uh suppose uh yeah, here you have your 32 bit address and using this 32 bit uh, uh, 32 bit uh, IP address you uh, you can form uh, like this 32 bits so you have total to power 32 combinations right so suppose it's it's uh, either you can select either zero or one suppose you just select one one bit and call it as zero and how many you uh bits you have here 31 and suppose you select all the zeros and all the ones just one bit so you you, you are dividing your space uh, as i explained before into two parts either zero or one and how many uh, I, uh, remaining hosts or IP address you can form here it's 2 power 31 right 2 power 31 so it's total uh, 32 bits uh, you are uh, dividing it into two parts this total space you are dividing it into two parts and the first two uh, it's either zero or one and remaining uh, number of hosts is 2 power 31 and this is called class A it's divided into four classes class A class B class C class D and class E 
and the first class this is your first class class a and next your uh, this this is called your class a and i have taken this to and this set if you observe this set it starts with one and the remaining bits are 31 here so starts with one and remaining bits are 31 this uh, remaining bits of 31 again they divided into two parts so it's it's so one is already selected it's either zero one zero one zero one zero and one is already selected one here one 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 so the similar way here you have 31 uh, remaining bits and two two power 31 in class a here your total number of ip address you can form is 2 power 30 so same 2 power 30 so this they call it class b right this they call it class b again uh, this box whatever we have here they have taken it to explain class c so here the similar way one one is already selected one one is already selected and the total number you have total number of ip uh, set you have is 2 power 30 and again i they selected one bit here so it's all divided into two parts of one one zero one one zero and one one zero one 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 so the total number of ip address you can form in this mm -hmm. uh section is uh two power 29 and they call it class c and here you can explain class d so they have taken this box and it's one 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 and one 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 again select zero here one here the remaining are two power 28 ip address ip same here one 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 two power 28 ip address and they call it class D and class E. So to summarize, I'll explain you again. Uh, the two 32 bit uh, IP address, uh, first they selected, uh, they divided into two parts by selecting first bit as zero. Mm, and uh, this, uh, the second, uh, uh, it's, uh, it is, it's either zero or one and the remaining uh, total number of bits is two power 31 and they made it class A and the class b uh, they selected two bits it's either one zero or one one and the remaining total number of available ip address are two power 30 and they ca called it class b and they again selected one one zero and one 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 and the remaining number of ip address is two power 29 and they called it class c and they selected one 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 zero and one 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 and the remaining number of ip address are 28 ip address uh, so if it's one 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 zero it's 20 2 power 28 and it's class d and if it's 1111 it's 2 power 28 ip address and they call it class e so let me explain you each class uh with uh home uh and how many networks and how many hosts that can be formed in each class let me explain you uh each class now so suppose uh if it's class uh a class a as i told you before so 32 bits it's a zero the selected i'm just explaining about the class a so i i explain you so selected zero 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 and the remaining two power that each ip it has to power that ip address this is called class 
So class if they selected the first bit as zero and it has to uh, 2 power 31 IP address. So as I told you before, uh, uh, your IP address is a set of uh, zeros and ones. Uh, so we have something called the dotted decimal representation where uh, all uh, the binary system is uh, divided into all the binary system of 32 bits is divided into four parts and each part has eight bits eight bits eight and eight and this one is represented in the decimal form decimal form for your IPv4 address. So it's called the dotted uh, uh, decimal representation. So for the class A, uh, where you have uh, 2 power 31 IP addresses, and let's uh, talk about uh, the total number of available networks and uh, available uh, hosts here. So in class A, what they did is they they selected first eight bits uh, as uh, first eight bits as network ID and the remaining twenty four bits as host ID. So this is the class here where the first eight bits they. They, they, they want it to be as a network ID and uh, remaining 24 bits as a host ID. So if you have uh, 8 bits as network ID and the first bit is already uh, it's uh, uh, dedicated to 0, it's, it's already it's 0. So how many remaining uh, networks you have? It's uh, So it's already 0. How many remaining you have? You have 2 power 7 which is uh, 128 networks and how many uh, host IP addresses you have so you have 24 which is 2 power 24 which is approximately equal to 16 million IP IPs IP addresses per network so if you see it's zero is already selected and you have one two three four five six seven so if it is all zeros then it's zero if it's one two three four five six seven then it's one again if it's uh one zero then it's two all the way if it is zero one 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 then it's one twenty seven and the first these two are not used and i'll explain you why they are not used so the range uh like if you look at a, a dotted decimal representation and if you want to know if whether it's a class a class b class c class d you can just look at uh, the first uh, eight bits on the network id and you can tell them so here uh if it is uh, uh between 0 to 126 on the network ID you can tell it's a class A. The range is 0 to 126 uh, and it has uh, 2 power 27 which is 128 networks and it has uh, 2 power 24 which is 16 million IPs. So generally uh, the class A, A as it has a uh, 16 million uh, IPs per network these uh, IPs or the class A is used by uh, organizations like uh, NASA or Pentagon as they require uh, many IPs for each network. So generally these type of networks we see in NASA and Pentagon where they require a uh, many IP address like 16 million IP address. Uh, yep. Uh, so uh, then we'll go to class B. So for the class B here class B just like class year like it has its 32 bits 32 bits so as I explained you before uh, it has already selected one so 
1 0 1 0 so it has 2 power 30 IP class B so in class A first 8 bits are considered as network ID and next 24 uh, bits are considered uh, for the host ID but in class uh, B first 16 bits are considered for network ID and next 16 bits are dedicated for the host ID and you know uh, the first uh, uh, two uh, bits are one nine zero right so and the remaining uh, uh, IP address uh, IP is available are two power 30 so as the first two bits are one and zero and you have remaining 14 bits in the network ID the number of uh, networks you can form here is two power 14 which is approximately equal to 16 K networks and each network has how many hosts 2 power 16 hosts so it has 2 power 14 uh, available networks and each host each uh, network has 2 power 16 hosts per network so uh, let me explain you here so one zero so let's take the first octet so as i told you uh, you can just look at the first uh, octet uh, in the dotted decimal representation and uh, uh, you can know whether it's class a class b class c or class d as uh, i told class as i told explains from zero to 126 so as we go, it's already uh, for the class beats, I told it's one zero. And if it's all zero, one, two, if it's all remaining uh, six zeros, then it's 128, zero, 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 one, it's 129. All the way, if it's one zero, all ones, then it's 191. So the range for the first octet, to know if it's class B is 128 to 191. So if you have something like 128 to 191 dot xx dot x like dot xx x x then this is class B. So the class B has uh, 16 uh, bits for the network ID and 16 bits for the host ID and uh, as uh, it's already uh, first two bits are 190 you have uh, available 2 power 14 which is uh, 16 uh, thousand uh, networks and the remaining uh, uh, 16 uh, uh, host id makes a uh, 2 power 16 hosts per each network so these uh, the uh, the class b is used by uh, organizations like banks uh, where they need a uh, 2 power 16 uh, IP address and they have available 2 power for like each network has 2 power 16 uh, uh, hosts or IP address and to continue let's uh, go and discuss uh, on class C so for the class C here again you have your 32 bits uh, here you already have uh, one and one selected so now you have zero one and one comes from your uh, 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 class B like one zero and one one so one one is already selected and you have zero here so one one zero and the available IP address here remaining are 2 power 29 which is class C so uh, if you want uh, to know how uh, we got 110 uh, you just go uh, 
back and just uh, uh, review on what I explained uh, how these uh, classes are formed. Uh, it's 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1, 0 for class D and class C. So you can just go back and just look at uh, how uh, 1, 1, 0 uh, it, we got how we got 110 for class C. So it's 110 in the first three bits and 2 power 29. And for class C, we have 24 bits for network ID and 8 bits for host ID. As we already have 110 dedicated for first three bits, the remaining is uh, 8 minus 3 which is 5 uh, so it's, it's 24 right 24 bits so as 3 bits are already dedicated we have remaining 21 bits here 21 bits in the network ID part so we have 2 power 21 which is approximately equal to 2 million uh, networks and each network has, as we have 8 bits in the host ID, 2 power 8 IPs available for each network. Right? So let me explain you how this is formed. So as we have 110 already dedicated, I mean, uh, I'm explaining about the dotted decimal system where you can know whether it's class B, A, B, C, D or E. So here you have 5. If all the 5 are zeros, then it's 192 if it's 0 0 0 0 0 so 1 it's 193 all the way it's 1 1 0 all 1 2 3 4 5 then it's 223 so the range of class C for the first octet is 192 to 223 right and yeah, here uh, you have 2 power 21, which is 2 million networks, and 2 power 28, uh, which is 256 available IP address. So these, uh, th this class is used by colleges or universities, depending on the, it depends on how many, uh, how many uh, uh, hosts they need. So something like universities or colleges if they need uh, like less like 256 ip address should be good for them and let's talk about uh, class d and class e here so for the class uh, d and e again you have your 32 bits and you have already reserved one 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 and here comes zero all the way one 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 zero this is class d and the remaining uh so yeah are uh, 2 power 28 right 32 minus 4 2 power 28 for the class d and same way here one 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 to power 28 this is class e and it has to power 28 ips so the class uh, d and class e they don't have a network id or host id and they are just reserved uh, with 2 power 28 ips in the class d and 2 power 28 uh, in class e uh, to uh, class d is reserved for uh, multicasting and class E is just reserved for a military purpose so we don't have much information like I, I don't have much information about them but they are just reserved for military purpose the class E for military purpose and class D for multitasking so yeah let me explain you uh, something more on a uh, number of uh, hosts here so as I told you before uh, class a, I told you uh, we have a uh, 2 power uh, 7 which is uh, 128 but uh, the first and the last uh, I told like uh, 0 and uh, 
the way 120 oh, sorry uh, 0 127 so these two are not used uh, so it has 126 uh, networks 126 networks and 2 power 24 which is 16 million IP address right but uh, what you have to note here is uh, you have to subtract two uh, every time uh, when you calculate uh, your uh, number of hosts. So it's 2 power 24 minus 2 which is equal to 16 million hosts minus 2 IP address per network. I'll explain you in uh, um, uh, further uh classes uh why we are subtracting two uh because the uh, one ip address is reserved for uh network id and the one uh ip address is re uh, uh, uh reserved for uh, uh so broadcasting so i'll explain you later uh, on uh why uh, we need to subtract two uh to calculate the number of total number of ip address per network so it's 16 million uh, minus two ip address uh per network uh, for class A and total number of networks available are 126. If you go to class B, it's a uh, 2 power 14, which is approximately equal to 16 K networks and 2 power 16 minus 2 IPs per network, which is to 64k minus 2 IPs per network and if you go to class C you have 2 power 21 which is approximately equal to 2 million networks and 2 power 8 minus 2 which is equal to 256 minus 2 254 IPs per network right so this is class A class B and class C and class D and class E as I told you before they are reserved for military and multicasting and they have total 2 power 28 IPs and they don't have a network ID and a host ID. So I hope uh, it's clear uh, on how we got a classful uh, uh, system uh, where we divided uh, it into class A, class B, class C and class D. Uh, it's a little confusing but uh, if you uh, watch the lecture like two or three times uh, it would be very clear for you on how the how we uh, divided all the IP4 addressing it to, into all the five classes A, B, C, D, and E, where we use class A, class B, and class B, uh, class C for the general purpose, uh, and how uh, number of uh, networks are formed, and how we uh, get uh, IPs like total number of IPs per each network. Uh, I hope uh, this is clear. Uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, and I'll be explaining more on how uh, uh, IP address are formed, uh, unicasting and broadcasting and uh, why uh, we need to take out the two IPs uh, in the number of in the total number of available IP address in the next class. Uh, so it can be explained once I explain you um, uh, the unicast and the broadcast.